All right, Shalom Rastafari. As we're continuing our sabbatical study, um, Torah portion um, Arba, or the 40th portion, and the 40th Torah portion is Balak. Now, see some of the other RSS, Rastafari sabbatical studies, and right here we want to um, just fast forward to the, 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 the sin of Baal Peor, the sin of Baal Peor. Now, what you see right here, this is, um, this is a picture of an Asherah pole, right, this particular Asherah pole. I think this is during the time of... Um, um, during the time of, uh, is it Josiah? Is this, does this deal with Josiah right here? This is one of the European, um, um, uh, renderings of the Bible, you know, in, in European face. But still, we want to look beyond that, beyond the imagery, and get to the essence, to get to the essence right here, the Asherah pole. So, in this portion of the sin of, um, Baal Peor is very important. Um, Mrs. God, it says Asherah goddess, worshipped, was worshipped, they say, along with Yahweh. Now, we touched on Balaam or Balaam, right? The sin of Balaam. So let's go right here to Balak. See if we can go to the Torah portion, um, Balak. So let's put Balak right here. And we have Balak. Right, and then we have this one, so we have two of them. One is Balak, as we already should know, and if you've been studying with us, you know that he was the king of Moab. And we define metaphysically what is Moab. Moab is the carnal mind. Now, when we speak of um, Balaam and the sin and the doctrine of Balaam and what's going on with the, the modern um, black churches, you know, and the condition of the lost sheep in this valley of the dry bones and it, it becomes very very clear and very very interesting so uh, Barak was a, a king of Moab and he's described in this um, Torah portion in the book of Numbers in the Hebrew Bible for his dealings with Balaam now he hired Balaam to curse the Beta Israel in other words overstanding the revelation to curse black people and I want you to put this into perspective of over the past um, the past uh, 40 years black people in America in the past 40 years is our situation better or is our situation worse and, and what what has gone wrong there's definitely a big difference, you know, then in today's black people, and some call it the whole crack generation phenomena, rare, rare, you understand. And there's, there's, there's much to that. Cohen Tell Pro stopping the rise of the black messiah. So as you can see right here, as you can see right here, these are some of the, the studies right here, some of the images and studies. This is, this is Baal. This is the image of Baal. Right, and the connection of Baal and Balaam is very, very interesting. But like we said, we want to fast forward to the so-called um, sin, right? The sin of Baal of Baal Peor, the sin of Baal Peor. Now, Balak had hired um, Balaam, right? And this is section right here we're going to go into, right? So Balak had hired Balaam, right, a heathenish prophet similar to the pastors and preachers, you know what I'm saying? And see, it's one thing to be living in a, a system and be in bondage to a system. It's another thing to sing the praises of that particular system. So there's a couple of moving parts and pieces here that we need to put together to properly overstand it. So we kind of jumped straight to the point of the Asherah pole, right? Now, how do we now figure this in with the sin of Baal Peor. Well, it's very, very interesting if we would now recognize what the Asherah pole really is. And in case you don't know, the Asherah pole is actually the stripper's pole. The modern day stripper's pole is the Asherah, the Asherah, right? The Asherah pole. Let's, let's bring this up right here. And let's See if we can get this front and center so you can see the majority of the available 
the available images right here. All right, let's, let's see if we can move this out. All right, here we go. All right, the majority.